this video is like how to wash wool if you barely have any equipment. So if you don't have a washer of your own, um, so all you really need is a colander and some containers. Pieces of fleece, um, skirted, shake it out. It'll last two from the last video. If you want to see the last video, just go down to the description below and I'll have them linked there. Okay, right now, two buckets. This is a dirty fleece. It is very lanolin-y, so I'm gonna put a little bit of degreaser in there. About a quarter cup. So no real difference in how I'd normally wash. Some sort of soap. I'm using nine elements, four, five, six. You wanna put enough in till the water fills a little on the slimy side. And then we stir. If I didn't say before, this is hot water, as hot as my gas hot water heater will get it. And it is uncomfortable to put your hand in for any length of time. Okay, so got those stirred up. I'm gonna say shake the fleece out, get out any little bits that will come clean that way. down into the bucket, use a spoon or some such poking device. Ooh, catch the cramp. It's really pretty. Yep, got lost in the cramp. Okay. Ew, dirty. Dirty, 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 dirty. Should I? Second one going. Got the seconds. No one likes second cuts. Your fleece to water ratio, it should always be easy to push the fleece under and to move it around. No real resistance. You see all that dirt coming off. Ooh. Yep, I'm trying to, a new thing on the camera. So it's, it's having all sorts of fun focusing. But there we go. Get those covered up. Keep the heat in. A couple old towels will do. Or if you have the lid use a lid. Let that sit for 10 to 20 minutes. Hey, welcome back. This time I'm going to show you how to get the wool out of the buckets without bags. They're just in there loose. Mind you, they might wash a little better being loose. You might just not have a bag, which is fine. Um, you need a spoon or some sort of utensil to get it out. Um, a mashed potato um, masher would be great um, or something you know, tongs something like that and a strainer and then like another bucket or something under the strainer we're just gonna lift up and we are keeping in mind that this is hot water and we're working over a surface that doesn't mind getting wet and you're just gonna pull out like a handful at a time trying not to get the heat on our hands. I've seen people just reach in and grab it and that's like, what's mm, more? You don't want to cook yourself trying to get your fleece washed. And behind me I have another bucket of water. Let's get all we can out of this. And that was our first wash. If you don't want to touch, you can use the spoon. Some really pretty coloration in here. And just get all that dirty water out. Okay. Keep on, hold on to this bucket because we're not done yet because we might not have gotten it all out. There's always that little bit hiding at the bottom. So here's the clean bucket of water. 
This is our second wash, so we're putting some more soap in here. Now we're getting all the dirty water out of here. And if there's anything that you can easily pick clean and do it, it's going to be easier when it dries up. Okay, and that goes back in here for our second wash. And use your spoon to get everything back down. big spot there's a couple little pieces so yep that looks like something needs to be in the wash and those are seconds so we know we don't need those in the wash so push everything back down put your lid on it now we're ready to do the second one in exactly the same way Welcome back. We just finished our second wash and now it's time to do our rinse. Um, and depending on how clean the water is, we'll do a second rinse. And I'm going to show you this method without any use of any other tools. And Bucket sells from the hardware store. Or Wilco or whatever your garden supply. The magic of television. Of a bucket of clean water. I rinsed out the bucket, so straight from the tap. And here we're trying out. Oh, that's really sudsy. Squeeze out all you can of the soapy water. So after you get the wool fully submerged, you can put the cover on it. Hey, and we're back. If you haven't yet, please click that like button if you found anything of use in this video. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see what happens afterwards. Um, and if you have any video suggestions for me, just pop that down in the comments below as well. Alrighty, so the water looks pretty darn clear. So I don't think we're going to need a second rinse on this. So I'm just going to it out, leave all that soapy soapy just behind. The true tail is getting them all out. The water's pretty clear. So I'm just going to push as much water as I can out of this. And like I said, this book. It doesn't even have to be like a wire colander like this. It could be just about pretty much anything colander-esque. Okay, squeeze the water out. Let's go down to the racks below. Um, that being said, if you don't have racks like this, uh, you know, even the tarp on the ground, they'll still dry. You'll just have to take more time flipping it over. But this is just a couple of sawhorses and a piece of wire from a department store. So basically one of those department store closeout sales. This is the wire racks that are normally on the walls uh, that hang the different sale items. So pretty much anything will work. There are patterns out there to do racks that are PVC pipe and like a plastic chicken wire but pretty much anything will work. Yeah, and there's still water in this. Piece of tree. But just laying it out. And we got three more hours of heat here. So even though this is not sunny where I am, it's still like 70 degrees. 
any rack will do. Could even be like a, a rack made for your clothing. You might have to throw a towel over it if the holes are too big. But just lay out your fleece, try to get it one layer. And make sure it's somewhere that it can drip through. If you're doing this in an apartment and you don't have a deck, just put some towels below or set your rack up in your shower or in your bathtub, you know? There are a thousand ways to do this hobby. And this is a hobby that's been done since time began, right? I'm gonna try to research what they used in the Middle Ages to wash wool. Because it, it wasn't dishwashing liquid, was it? Because they didn't have that. So, get this all out. And I'll get the second one out and then I'll show you how it all looks. Well, it's been a couple hours and it's still damp. Some seconds. Um, it's still damp, but it's not drippy. So if you're gonna do this technique and you don't have a way to really get the liquid out of the fleece, do it in the morning, the wash in the morning, so it has all afternoon to set outside and drip or drip into your bathtub or whatever it is, because it will take longer to dry than if you spun it out. Ooh, this one's even drier. It just I guess gets better airflow right here. Oh, that one's a little wet. You can hear it. It's pretty. How pretty that is. There we are. That's good. So I hope you all enjoyed a simple way of washing your fleece. And any ideas, like I said, drop them in the comments below. Love hearing from you. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.